Effort only fully releases its reward after a person refuses to quit. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve regardless of how many times you may have failed in the past or how lofty your aims and hopes may be. Every man is what he is, because of the dominating thoughts which he permits to occupy his mind. There is no substitute for persistence. The person who makes persistence his watchword, discovers that old man failure finally becomes tired, and makes his departure. Failure cannot cope with persistence. Success in life depends upon happiness, and happiness is found in no other way than through service that is rendered in a spirit of love. Faith and fear make poor bedfellows. Where one is found, the other cannot exist. Success requires no apologies, failure permits no alibis. From what you say, I infer that time is the friend of the person who trains his mind to follow positive thought habits and the enemy of the person who drifts into negative thought habits. Knowledge has no value except that which can be gained from its application towards some worthy end. Where thought prevails power may be found. Thoughts are things, and powerful things at that, when they are mixed with definiteness of purpose, persistence, and a burning desire. Power is organized effort, as has already been stated. Success is based upon power. There is one weakness in people for which there is no remedy. It is the universal weakness of lack of ambition. Your subconscious mind recognizes and acts only upon thoughts which have been well mixed with emotion or feeling. Desire is the starting point of all achievement. You have a brain and mind of your own. Use it, and reach your own decisions. The depression was a blessing in disguise. It reduced the whole world to a new starting point that gives everyone a new opportunity. Awake, arise, and assert yourself, you dreamers of the world. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. No man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. Remember that the moment you reduce the statement of your desire, and a plan for its realization, to writing, you have actually taken the first of a series of steps, which will enable you to convert the thought into its physical counterpart. Mind control is the result of self-discipline and habit. You either control your mind or it controls you. There is no hallway compromise. A great many years ago I purchased a fine dictionary. The first thing I did with it was to turn to the word impossible, and neatly clip it out of the book. That would not be an unwise thing for you to do. Your poverty is serving no one. If you're a charitable person, you'd be a whole lot more charitable if you had lots of money. Ask any wise man what he most desires and he will, more than likely, say more wisdom. Before you can achieve success in the higher and broader sense you must gain such thorough control over yourself that you will be a person of poise. Nature has endowed man with absolute control over but one thing, and that is thought. Meet struggle and master it, says nature and you shall have strength and wisdom sufficient for all your needs. Within every adversity is an equal or greater benefit. Within every problem is an opportunity. Even in the knocks of life, we can find great gift. Poverty needs no plan. It needs no one to aid it, because it is bold and ruthless. Riches are shy and timid. They have to be attracted. Thanks for watching. SR Motivation